This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today is a very exciting video. We have the one and only Chris Howe, otherwise known as my soon-to-be husband, here today because we are doing some couples photography poses. These are our go-tos. These are the ones we keep in our back pocket so we don't have to actually love each other in the moment. We can just look like we're loving each other. It's this, all an illusion. Everything's a lie. Here's the video. <laughs> Pose number one, power pose. For this simple pose, have both you and your partner side by side facing the camera. I like to stick my leg out slightly or turn a bit and place a hand on Chris's chest. This pose is both flattering and portrays confidence. We like to use this pose on red carpets or at events. Pose number two. Oh, did you call my name? Opposite to the first pose, turn your backs to the camera and have one partner look back over the shoulder of the other. The person with their back to the camera can add to the pose by turning and tilting their head towards their partner. Pose number three, the hug. Have one partner face forward and the other face away from the camera. Embrace each other in a loose hug and have the person facing forward perch themselves over the shoulder of their partner. This pose implies comfort, warmth, and a sense of security. Pose number four, the stroll. This pose is pretty simple and is always a crowd pleaser. Just face forward towards the camera and lock hands. Pace back and forth two or three steps at a time, and if you have more space, say on a sidewalk or a trail, then you can keep walking to make the subjects comfortable as they pose. You and your partner can either look at each other or at the scenery around you. It's a casual pose that exudes positivity, energy, and fun. Pose number five, hug from behind. Start with both of you facing the camera with one of you slightly behind the other. Have the person behind embrace the person in front with a hug around their shoulders. The partner in front can rest a hand onto their other partner's forearm. This pose works well when composed as a medium or tight shot. You enjoying this video? Cool. Couple things I'm gonna ask you to do then. One, maybe subscribe to my channel. Uh, two, listen to me talk about Squarespace for a minute. Thanks. I used Squarespace to make my website. I legitimately did, even before they paid me to do this ad. The template I chose was clean and stylish, and I literally built it myself. I really struggle with design, but Squarespace made it super easy for me to showcase my portfolio beautifully. The platform is super easy for me to customize, update regularly, and I can get analytics about the purchases made on my digital products through my online store. And I run my own business, so I don't have time to learn a whole new platform. All right, so head over to Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can use this code right here to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. Now back to the video. Pose number six, the lift off. Probably the hardest pose to pull off on this list. Have both partners face each other, then either stand in place or run into a lift. For the person lifting, support your partner where it's comfortable for them. <laughs> in this case, we chose my voluptuous rump. For the person being lifted, hold your partner around the back of their neck and kick your legs back and make sure to point your toes as you're in the air. This is one of my favorite poses, especially to do with an epic backdrop. Pose number seven, the sitting cuddle. For our first sitting pose, sit side by side and place one partner's legs over top of the other partner's lap or leg. You can either keep your legs side by side or cross them, whatever's comfortable. We also like to place our hands on each other in different places for a complete cuddle look. You can use our pose as an example, but feel free to rest your hands wherever is comfortable for the both of you. Pose number eight, the independent couple. 
sit with your backs facing each other on a slight angle so you're still able to place your feet on the ground. This pose is great because each partner can have their time to shine rocking their own pose. So you can either look at the camera or away into the distance and change it up for every photo so that you have a variety. Pose number nine, the heartbeat. Have one partner lay on their back and turn their head away from the camera. Then have the other partner lay on their chest facing the camera. Have them place their hand on their partner's chest as if looking to feel their heartbeat. Pose number 10, laying in the field. Start by having both partners lay on the ground in opposite directions, but with their heads side by side. Have both partners place a hand behind their heads. Make sure both partners have the same arm lifted so that the pose feels balanced. Then either look at or away from the camera or lean in for a kiss. The lighting in our studio wasn't the greatest for this type of shot. It honestly would have been much better suited with even lighting such as an overcast day outdoors. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like down below, subscribe if you're not already, and make sure you hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. You could also subscribe to this guy behind me. But mainly, I hope to see you here next week. Okay, bye! <laughs> <laughs> That's a winner. <laughs>